Hey, let's go back into Battle Royale. I haven't played this for about a week. I think the thing is Battle Royale, you have to play it more often to be able to get really good at it because there's so many different tips that you can use. And if you don't play for a while, I think this is Australia. If you don't play for a while, you might forget some of those tips. Um, better be, I guess it's first round, so I'm not in much of a hurry. Uh, I, there's a chance it could be New Zealand, like in Auckland maybe. But yeah, okay. Um, I'm thinking this is Melbourne because of the streetcar. I know they have, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of cities do. Actually, it's probably Sydney now that I think about it. I don't know, actually. No, maybe, I don't know, because Melbourne, I know, has a grid system. So, hmm. I feel like Melbourne has wider streets, though. Um, oh, that thing. Wait, that's, shit. What's that? That building looks familiar. Maybe it's Brisbane, even. Or Perth. I'm pretty much just listing every single city in Australia now. Um, but I'm very confused as to where that was. Uh, so is this Canada or the US? I think it's Canada. It looks like Quebec, actually. Oh, no, wait. No, this isn't even... No, this is not even Canada or the US. This is probably Australia again. Oh, no, it's New Zealand. Okay, wow. Um, that's interesting. I didn't even get to lock it in. Uh, the lights, though, yeah, the lights looked like Australian or New Zealand, but when I started here, because um, I guess it's a one-way road, so that that's why uh, what made it more difficult. But uh, thinking Canada at first, I generally don't think anything's Canada unless if it is the U.S. Like the U.S. and Canada, I sometimes have trouble with, but I never get confused between Australia, New Zealand, or I mean, like whether it's I get confused between Australia and New Zealand, but I never would think that they're, um, oh shit, South Africa here, whoops, uh, I was busy talking, whoops, but I would never think that something is Canada or the US when it's actually Australia or New Zealand, so that's kind of interesting. Um, last run, I was kind of just waiting for other people to knock off those other options, this is Andorra, I think, um, yeah, South Africa is waiting for people to knock off, uh, all those options because there's four countries that I thought it could be and I don't want to waste all my guesses and it end up being the one that I did not guess so they knocked off most of the countries pretty quickly there um, so Arabic writing it looks like and uh, Hebrew so we got Israel here be quick here still a bit I wish I could have more time to look at that New Zealand round because I'm still kind of um, surprised, shocked. That's also why it took me a while to get going on the South Africa one. I'm a bit just shocked that uh, that I was so confused by it. Could this be Ireland? I didn't look at the plates on that car, but I'm ready to switch if it's not Ireland. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's just very green. Uh, that's all I went by pretty much and it just looked familiar like I mean similar to those rounds I did when I was trying to do Ireland uh, the three minutes per round um, so this is French I don't know if we're actually in France I'm just gonna go with it if it's not France let's go Belgium and if it's not Belgium let's go Luxembourg I guess okay let's go Belgium there we go um, I didn't really see the red plates um, I didn't see the red plates, but I definitely didn't see ye yellow, so I wasn't going to go Luxembourg until I kind of ran out of, I mean, until it was the only option left. Um, I'm thinking this is, oh shit, it's not the US, this is probably Australia. Again, another round where I'm confused with the two, but the, the uh, cars don't look American. Yeah, okay, wow. Normally I don't have any trouble, like... Yeah, again, I get confused between the U.S. and Canada sometimes, and sometimes between Australia and New Zealand, but not... I'm not ever in the completely, like, the wrong continent uh, with those countries, with any English-speaking countries. Nope. Oh, shit. It's Cambodia, then. Okay. Uh, I was sure it was either Thailand or Cambodia, so there's no point in moving around. I was just... Get, get prepared to guess the other one. I haven't gotten Cambodia very much recently, so that's why I guessed Thailand first. I wasn't really sure uh, about it based on the writing, though. Um, is that Spanish writing? I think it is. Um, wouldn't be... I wonder if this could be Andorra again. 
I think it could be actually. Let's go Andorra. Yes, it is Andorra. I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that there's only one other guy there. Um, I was. I'm still <laughs> sorry, but like at least I won in the end. But like that whole game, uh, I was kind of distracted by the fact that by those rounds that I don't know. Australian, New Zealand ones that look like they could either be Canada or the U.S. Um, I don't know. That just distracted me. But anyways, at least I won. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, though, that... Uh, I don't know who the other person was. I forgot to click on the show high score thing, but... Yeah, it's just me against some, some other guy, and I took a wild guess just because I seem to get Andorra a lot. And when I get Spain or France, it doesn't look like that. So, that's interesting. Um... Wind turbines. It's very flat. Oh, maybe Netherlands. I feel like they're known for windmills, though, not wind turbines. Uh, let's go with Netherlands anyway. Actually, it's the first round, so why bother? Why bother rushing? Let's just see. Yeah, yellow plates. Let's do it, Netherlands. Okay. Yeah. That does make sense, though. Oh, actually, there's a yellow plate right at the beginning. Somehow I didn't see it. That's how everyone else got it so quick, I think. I don't think it was based on the flatness or the uh, the wind turbine. Um, so very vast open space here. Uh, the line is yellow. Shit. I think this is Australia, actually. Oh, no, fuck. Why did I do that? No, it's South America. Argentina, maybe, or, okay, I don't know, then Brazil, perhaps. Um, I've already wasted two of my guesses. Shit, other people are going Africa, though, but I don't think it is, because the road markings are not African, I don't think. Oh, I'm thinking Brazil. But it could be, Ur the thing, the reason I'm not guessing is because it could be Uruguay. Because nobody's knocked out Uruguay. They've only knocked out Argentina. Shit. What am I going to do here? I don't want to get kicked out on the second round. Oh, fuck. Let's just go with Brazil. That was Uruguay, wasn't it? Fuck. Oh, crap. I'm just going to wait for this to end. Why did I... Oh, shit. If I didn't go for Australia, then I, I would have been able to get that, because it could only be Argentina, Brazil, or Uruguay. And now that I think about it, I should have just gone Uruguay instead of Brazil, because they do have equal chances of being in Battle Royale, but I think I've gotten... Actually, I don't think it's equal chances, because I think I've gotten Uruguay more. Um, damn it. Okay, whatever. Um, so that was a quick round, at least. If I'm going to lose, I guess it's better for it to be quick. Well, let's see how this goes. Uh, this is, um, I guess, Ghana. I was going to say that it could be, um, like, Kenya or something, but Ghana because of this, uh, the tape on the roof rack there. Holy shit, everyone's locked it in. Okay, a lot of them got it wrong, though. Most of them got it wrong, actually. Uganda was a common guess. Uh, I guess you do see the car in Uganda, but Uganda doesn't have a roof rack, so I'm kind of interested that so many people guessed that. I really am curious to see what other people's thought processes are, uh, like what, what kind of clues that they use. If most people are just using kind of whatever you call it, like either the pixelation of the sky or whatever, or the, the car itself or stuff like that. Uh, or the age of the coverage, like the generation of the coverage, uh, versus how many people actually just use the landscape of the like and the terrain and the buildings and stuff and the languages and all that. I don't know. Um, thinking Albania or Montenegro. I don't know. Let's go Albania. If it's not, let's switch to Montenegro. Um, okay, Montenegro then. Okay, they have that sky thing, which supposedly is in both countries, and then this thing. I don't know. I couldn't really tell. I think Albanian writing has some of those dots on the letters, like the double dot, the two dots on top of letters like they have in Turkish. Um, but yeah, the mountains are very nice in that in that uh, region. Um, I remember getting a really beautiful round one time that I thought was would end up being like the Alps or something, but I think it was Montenegro. Um, driving on the left here, I'm going to 
say it's uh, Sri Lanka. If it's not Sri Lanka, maybe Thailand. Could be Bangladesh too. No, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, that was quick. Everyone locked it in, I think. Uh, what's this? Could it be Norway or something? Or Iceland? I'm going to go Norway because of the road markings. The yellow line. I don't know if Iceland has that. If it's not Norway... I'm not too concerned here because I think people are going to guess, some people are going to guess Iceland and some people are going to guess Norway. Yeah, okay. Actually, all of us except two guessed Iceland. Let's see who guesses Norway quicker out of the two of them. I thought that they would have guessed it instantly, like right away after realizing that they got it wrong, but apparently not. So that Ukrainian guy got kicked out. Um, I think this is Scandinavia again. I don't know where exactly shit why are they how are they getting it oh fuck off how are they locking it in so quick oh my i i fucking shit sorry i'm stumbling over my words here i'm confused but uh uh they got it they all locked in finland i think so i was very nervous or worried there and then i guess sweden just a little bit too late to lock it in but luckily it was correct um okay I think this is Poland, based on that sign, those languages. Yeah, the, especially that the first one, and then the second one, because I just did the Poland three minute per round one, and they have those L's with that kind of diagonal line across uh, towards the top. Um, so this is Ghana again. I don't think the uh, Guatemalan roof rack has any tape on it. That's exclusive to Ghana, I think. Um, kind of should try to get a bit better at using other tips other than the street view car, uh, especially if I want to eventually do no moving, panning, or zooming on these. Um, I'm going to go Bhutan on this. Mountainous landscape, Southeast Asian kind of feel. Um, pretty confident with this guess, actually. Oh, shit, we don't, got, we don't have those red plates, though. Oh, apparently it's right. Okay, that's good. South Korea here. Um... Let's just look around quickly, make sure that's not Japan. Yep, South Korea. So me versus Rupert here, he's a level 48, so I think he would be able to tell the difference between uh, Korean and Japanese writing. Let's hope he doesn't, though. Yeah, he does. Okay. Um, what the hell? can't really tell what this is. I might end up going India if I don't get any... Oh, no, it's Europe. Um, fuck, he's going to get this. I have Shit. Why did I go Germany? He went Germany too. Okay, I'm not as pissed off then. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, fuck. It was Denmark. Okay, he didn't get it either. Uh, oh, I didn't even pay attention if he already... I hope he didn't guess Netherlands, because I wasn't paying attention to what he had guessed. Uh, Guatemala here. Let's hope he doesn't know this. Because uh, a lot of people don't, as I've said before, a lot of people don't seem to recognize that roof rack. And I don't think he does. Um, oh, shit, he's got it. Yeah, okay. Got it at the last second. This is going to be Mongolia. See how long this goes. This might be kind of interesting. Um, Mongolia, we got the roof rack and that tent. Please go Kyrgyzstan here. Come on. Um, he used this 50-50, though. I didn't use that. I don't know when he used it. Fuck, he got it again. Fuck. Okay, this is going to be annoying, because this is like this is South Africa, Lesotho, or Botswana, so it's going to be a matter of luck here, I think. I'm going to go Lesotho, though. I know it's a mountainous country. i um, going to get ready to switch to Swaziland if it's not. Oh, shit, we both got it. Come on, how many rounds has this been? Rupert. Okay, um... La Paz, roof rack again, let's go Guatemala, oh fuck off, there's a flag there of Ecuador, oh wait, okay that's interesting, it was either Ecuador or a Colombian flag there, um, but I did see the roof rack, so yeah, um, is this going to be Andorra, let's go Andorra, could be, uh, Switzerland or something too, but I'm gonna go Andorra just because I get Andorra often. And, oh fuck off. Uh, okay, this is amazing. Uh, 
How many rounds has this been? But I'm happy that I've made it this far. I'm going to go Botswana on this one. If it's not Botswana, I'm going to go South Africa. <clears throat> um, holy shit, how many rounds has this been? But I'm happy that I'm doing pretty well here. Um, but man, this is going to be where I lose it, though. Oh, I think this is Hungary, actually. It's probably in Budapest. I don't know what else to go for. Oh, fuck. Oh, I won. He guessed Croatia. Um, I don't know if that's the famous bridge in, in Budapest, but, I mean, I just kind of assumed uh, when I saw a bridge that obviously every European country has bridges, but uh, um, it kind of reminded me of pictures that I've seen of Budapest. So, yeah, very happy with how that went, though. Um, how long has this been? 15 minutes. Uh, Rupert, though, that was... I don't know how many how many games that was. I'll have to review it. It's not going to say here, but I'll have to review it in the video. It's probably at least six or seven games that that I tied him. Let's see what his. Um, so he's won 188 out of 300, uh, 732. Um, his average position is 3.62. Let's see what mine is. Three point. Okay, mine's a bit higher than his, or a bit lower. I guess is what you want. Um, so let's do one more game. Let's hope it's not going to take as long, because that was very entertaining. It was kind of stressful and suspenseful, but it, or not suspenseful, but I don't know. It was just fun, fun playing um, with someone else who, I don't know, he seemed to know a lot, but also uh, with rounds that, that I was able to guess quickly, um, because, I don't know. That was just kind of luck also getting those rounds because a lot of rounds are not that easy, especially with Eastern Europe uh, rounds, which I tend to get a lot. Luckily, I didn't get many of them in that that sequence of rounds that I was tying him. I think all those, we all locked the guesses in too, um, which made it interesting. Um, so this one, I'm going to go Botswana or South Africa. Um, first round, so I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, it is Botswana. Wasn't the last, one of the, the second to last one, I think, against that guy was, uh, was Botswana too, and it looked somewhat similar to this in terms of, like, terrain and, um, vegetation and stuff. Um, generally, I go, if it's like this, I'll go either Botswana or South Africa, but Botswana first, and then if it's mountainous, I'll generally go Lesotho and then, um, Swaziland. So let's see what this is. Uh, it's not English writing on that. Um, oh, here we got a sign. Oh, this is Poland, isn't it? The signs, the font of the signs is different in Poland than other countries. Um, yeah, because I just, I wouldn't, I don't know, I may have gotten that actually, uh, but I just did the Poland three minutes per round. So I think as I do that more of those three minutes per round things and in Europe I'll probably end up uh, getting better at Battle Royale just because a lot of the rounds actually do look kind of um, familiar after doing those um, those countries and like the signs and stuff do so I can't really tell what's going on here I'm kind of confused honestly some people got it very quickly but we only have this one road uh, what's confusing me is that some of these things look kind of Asian um, these people are guessing really quick, so I'm just going to go Russia. Yeah, okay. Because uh, some of these things, like these, what was it? This building, like these window frames, they look like more Asian to me, but then um, the roads didn't, the buildings didn't really look Asian, and we didn't have the Mongolian or Kyrgyzstan street view car, and then there's a white guy there, so... I guess I had to go Russia. I should have gone a bit earlier, but at least I, I got it right. I tend to not go with Russia because I don't get it very often. Same with Brazil. Um, is this French? I think it's French writing, but I don't think we're in... Uh, let's go France anyway. Other people are locking... Okay, it's not France. Let's go Belgium. Yeah, okay. I was going to go Belgium or Luxembourg since those other people already knocked out France. Um... Let's see, these two have gone 
it went Canada. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense because it could be Quebec, but the roads don't look Canadian. Um, and then the other guy went Netherlands, which is kind of interesting. You'd think you'd go Belgium. Like, you wouldn't just jump France to Netherlands when you see French writing. Maybe he did it based on the landscape, though. I don't know. Um, oh, he got kicked out. I don't know what he guessed. Um, okay, so this is South America. Um, Rio Negro. Paso Maz. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure if this is Spanish or Portuguese. I think it could be either. Um, I might actually go Brazil on this one, though. No, okay. Uh, Uruguay, then. Yeah, okay. Um, big, vast, open landscape, kind of, once you got out of the trees here, like over here. Um, I don't know, made me think Brazil at first, but then Uruguay makes sense, too. I know they have a lot of big farm, like open farmland. Um, I guess I should have just guessed a bit quicker, because it had to be either uh, Argentina, um, Uruguay, or Brazil. Similar to that round that I got kicked out on earlier in the second game. But, uh, okay, let's see. This is the UK, for sure. Yellow plates, building style is the UK. Um, I feel like other people are going to all lock it in, too. Because it's not Ireland, unless if someone drove from Ireland or, like, whatever, shipped their car over. Um... With their yellow plates, yeah, okay. Actually, I don't know if Northern Ireland has the yellow plates, because I guess that means that you could perhaps see yellow plates in Ireland, like parts of Ireland that are not Northern Ireland, if Northern Ireland does have those plates. Um, is this Israel? I'm thinking Israel, but I don't see any signs. Yeah, okay. Uh, just the buildings and the kind of somewhat deserty landscape. Um, is this going to be Senegal? Why are we driving on the left? Oh no, it's Kenya. Fuck, I can't believe I almost made that mistake. We're driving on the left. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, the roof rack was the same as the Senegal roof rack, though that's what confused me, but I didn't look at... I didn't look down enough to see... Actually, I was looking this way, that's why. I didn't see the, uh, the hood of the car. Um, so Liam here isn't guessing. Let's hope he doesn't know... Because he's gone Zimbabwe and then Uganda. Oh yeah, I think he's just screwing around. Because he obviously, I guess he knows it. Because there's only one country it could be once you look at it closely. Um, so this is... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't think it's Russia. Let's go Bulgaria. I don't know why I went with... The Holy shit, that was, a, that was just a... I don't know. That was kind of a hunch. It was a wild guess, kind of. Um, it looked Eastern European. It was kind of mountainous, but they also had the kind of red roof things that you see in the Balkans a lot. Um, and I kind of wanted to go with somewhere that was a mix of the Balkans and, and Russia, so I went with Bulgaria, and it worked out well. So I think that was three out of four videos that I won, or three out of four games that I won in this video, and including that really interesting one with I don't know how many rounds I would think at least seven or eight but yeah thanks for watching subscribe for more battle royale and three minute per round country videos and stuff I'm doing a lot of those recently I really enjoy them actually but yeah thanks for watching Bye.